Parker and this is Sam Parker her other half. We are going to show you today how to use no pain gel stain from Dixie Belle and let me tell you no pain gel stain is not a water-based product like our voodoo gel stain. Voodoo gel stain tends to lay on the top of the surface give you a, a lighter finish of course these the no pain gel stains go deeper into your wood or whatever you're using and give you a rich color as a matter of fact it comes in a variety of colors uh, the oil base starts with espresso we have walnut we have piggly white weathered gray colonial black golden ash and american honey now the best part about this is not only the choices but again the coverage and the beauty that just happens yeah, in the world. It, it, it just brings out the the grain, everything with with the uh, oil based. In preparation for for staining, whether it's your tabletop, chairs, whatever it is, there's certain things that you need to do. Me, I took my uh, my orbital sander. 180 grit sandpaper. I sanded the whole thing down. What I did that for was to open up the pores. By opening up the pores, that gives your stain a chance to really sink in and engulf the deep, rich color of it. After that, I took my microfiber cloth. I wiped it all down, got the dust off of it. Then I came around. I've already got it, as you can see, I already got it painted. I put the tape around it just to protect it from me having to go back and repaint it. But that's that's it now it's it's time to to stain and get going with it now we are ready to apply our no pain gel stain when you go to apply it there are different types of mediums you can use to apply the stain you can use a brush you can use t-shirt material you can use the blue sponge or you can use the applicator pad this is our go-to because you get the best even coverage using the applicator pad. Sam's gonna demonstrate that for you in just a moment. The blue sponge, there's a little bit of room for error. Putting it on too thick, getting some streaks. The brush puts on way too much product and the t-shirt doesn't put enough product on. So again, you wanna go to your applicator pad to apply your no pain gel stain. Now comes the actual fun part of, of the stain. What I do is I take the can, I give it a quick shake. I pop the top on it then because the oil will kind of settle in. I take my spoon, I just give it a quick stir just to kind of get everything mixed up together. Once I do that, I put it on the plate and then I start my staining process. What I'll do is like I said, I'll put it on the plate. I like to spread it out a little bit. That way it goes even on the applicator pad. And then you always want to, you always want to, when you stain, you want to go with the grain. So you long, long passes with it. And then what you would do is flip it over and you can just kind of blend it in a little bit. Then move over to your next, to your next uh, line, do the same thing, flip it over and blend it in. And there you have it. One single coat of no pain gel stain in espresso. How gorgeous does this combination look together? Beautiful. Now, here's the, the tip that you need to know. 72 hours. You need to wait at least 72 hours before you decide to seal it or put another coat on because you can make the color darker, deeper, richer by putting a second coat on. But again, wait 72 hours before you do that. And then my favorite go-to for sealing no pain gel stain is Gator Hide because it is water repellent. 
and it will save you on your table. So there you have it. No paint gel stain, absolutely easy peasy.